Um, evangelist Tanika Bailey. Let's give her a Harvest Amis greeting as she comes forth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This poem is called An Unwelcomed Visitor. I see a strong man at the door, and it is banging with all its might. It jolted me right out my sleep. My eyes popped open wide, and my heart nearly skipped a beat. It beat so hard at my door, it seemed I felt the whole house shake. And there I stood wondering at this force that had me wide awake. It banged at the door with such anger, such vigor, such strength, with such force, such fury, such passion, and no remorse. See, he wanted to get in. He mad you put him out. He angry, I can feel it. I said he mad you put him out. He tried to steal away your hope and take away your peace. He tried to take away your fire, that anointing, your voice, so you couldn't speak. He even tried to steal away your restful sleep. Almost made you comfortable with all this stuff around you and eased your mind and complacency. He tried to come at you to finish the job that he started. Where he saw you and your spouse going at it and the two of you nearly parted. He went out for a quick break, a chuckle, and a laugh when he thought this job going to be easy because you wasn't going to last. Because he thought he started to, suit, to see you lose your faith. And, start, and thought you started to look to the side. Your foundation shifted a bit and he thought he saw you slide. He came to attack your children and he saw you wasn't having it. So now he out there acting a fool, throwing a temper tantrum and a fit. Cause you identified him. Grabbed him up and you sent him running. You rose up when he didn't expect it. I think cause how easily, sneakily he crept in. That you prayed up and you reflected. You cleaned up your house and you swept it. You identified him and rejected. You pulled down in the blood of Jesus, intercepted. And now he done got ejected. But now he's standing outside the door mad like he never got the message that his all access past had just got rejected and revoked. He invested, but now he coming up broke. He thought he could kill you and take away your mission. He thought that when he sent discouragers by you, that you would surely learn your lesson. He thought you went last when flooded with memories of your past and that you would surely be set you in a place when you found the wrongs done unto you was smack dab up in your face. Then surely anger would take its foothold and unforgiveness would fill its place. But see, he got it twisted. He attacked, but then he missed. He came out swinging hard, but see, he just got all out this. But now he mad and he's standing out the door banging. He's trying to take you out. I said he mad, y'all. I could feel it. I said he's trying to take you out. So what you gonna do? You get up and you start fighting. Do you think it's only you? Do you remember? <laughs> you got the blood of Jesus and he is more than enough to fight for you. I said you got the blood of Jesus and he is enough to fight for you. You even got some backup your own personal angelic fighting crew. So now you pull out the word of God and you apply it. What God has not planted shall be rooted up. And any demonic forces just got booted. For this reason, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil when you tested. For no weapon formed against you shall prosper and declare with full fire, I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. And seal every crevice of that house with the blood of Jesus and put up your... Satan, do not disturb sign. Trust pastors will be blasted with 66 books without further notice. And when you do, you really mean it. And let him know you got the wrong house. This is not the address that you were seeking. Then you, you go ahead back to bed and rest. Don't let that strong man steal your sleep. Because ADT is like nothing when you got the B-O-J-C, the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs>
highest love. Oh, the devil's in trouble now. The devil's in trouble now. I got some backup. You better back up, devil. I got the Lord on my side. You don't want to mess with me right now. You don't want to mess with me right now. Oh, my God. I got